What's up, you guys? Today, we're going to be talking my thoughts, or I'm going to be talking my thoughts on the newest Dominion leaks slash toy reveals as of February 2022. Now, before we start, there are some things that I would like to address. Um, if you know Collect Jurassic or Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, you probably already know about this situation going on, but currently, Battelle is doing them pretty badly because... First, Collect Jurassic's Instagram has gone, had been suspended for a few days. And luckily, that issue was resolved. But for an issue that likely won't be resolved, Andy's Dinosaur Reviews channel will be deleted on the 14th. So as I'm recording this video, he only has about three days left of his channel. So, yeah. Mattel, why? Mattel, if you're watching this, why are you deleting their channels? Now, the reason why his channel is being deleted is because of probably some news videos that he's published, which revealed some Dominion leaks, and he has been threatened with lawsuits before about the Scorpius Rex reveals. So, Mattel, honestly, I don't know why you do this, Mattel. But for some reason, it doesn't stop me from getting all getting the Mattel figures that I like. And speaking of which, we are gonna be. So I feel bad for Andy's dinosaur reviews. Deeply. But anyways, we'll talk more about that s sooner. Anyways, so for the ferocious pack, Velociraptor Blue, which is just a rebranding of again of the attack pack, which was then rebranded as the Wild Pack. But now we got Ferocious Pack. And honestly, I like this one a little bit better now. I, at first, I thought it looked like a bootleg. But now we actually have an articulated head on a Velociraptor Attack Pack figure. Next up, we got the Sun Gap. Now we got the Sun Garib Turris. Or at least that's how I believe you're sp supposed to pronounce its name. And I think this one looks pretty decent. And... I'm not sure why, but I just think it looks pretty decent. Now, I do kind of hope to see a side image of it, like we can see its face, because so far we're just seeing its back. Now, one thing I don't like about these Dominion f figures is that the new way that they have, that their scan code will be incorporated in the game, Jurassic World Facts, Kind of scares me a little bit, but we'll talk about that once we get into the Legacy Collection figures. Which won't probably be... Well, I don't even know. So, um, yeah. Next up, we got the Miraga Miragaya. I don't really know how to pronounce this thing's name. But anyways, at first I thought it was kind of strange. I still feel that way now, but I think it looks pretty decent. Apart from the absolute strangeness. Now, one thing that Mattel decided to do... Which is probably the worst route for a packaging. So, you see, for all the wild packs and attack packs, their package design was closed. So that way you can't actually touch it, contact with the dinosaur. So, um, yeah. And for 2022, Mattel decided, why not just leave the package design open like all of our other toys? So, yeah, now this thing has... Now all the ferocious packs are more prone to being stolen out of the boxes. And here we have the Moros Interpretus, which this one is my favorite. Which this one's my favorite ferocious pack. And um I don't like it ecstatically, but hopefully we'll get an extreme damage Moros. Although we probably won't get an extreme damage Moros. But it's worth the wait. So anyways, it looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really have much to say about it. I don't know if the Morris will actually look like this in the movie. Because I don't know if you guys can relate to me, but I don't want to see any trailers or any leaks of Dominion. I've already seen enough that I didn't want to see. Until I actually see the movie itself. So next up we got the 
this Giganotosaurus. I'm not sure what it's supposed, what kind of toy it's supposed to be. I'm assuming it might be the Colossal, but we actually have two segments in its tail, possibly more. I can't really, I can't, I honestly can't really picture out any sort of action feature that this thing could have. It's just a Giganotosaurus toy. And some of this, and some of these species, I probably don't know which one. Some of these species, I don't know which ones they are. For the Mattel line, at least. So, um, yeah, this is, it's mildly okay. I have to really see what it does, though, to kind of like it a little bit more. Now, fair warning, the rest of these images are pretty low quality, except for the last five. Next up, we got the Rogersaurus, which this one is, I don't even know. This one is literally black and white. Simple. Yay. I'm not saying this like I hate black and white, but honestly, I don't know why a figure would need to be painted black and white. It does look like we have painted nails some for some reason on one side of its hand, but on the other side, no. And next up, we got the Tyranna, which this one looks pretty decent. I'm not sure what this one does, though. I It's probably from the Roar Strikers line, so I'd imagine it to, to you know, Roar. But, so far, it's inconclusive as to what this thing actually does. Because, obviously, we can't figure it out yet. So, um, yeah. So, it looks pretty decent. I'll probably get it. And next up, we got the Roar Strikers, or I believe it's the Roar Strikers Triceratops. And this one actually looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. But I am I'm not really the biggest guy for Triceratops figures. The only time I would get a Triceratops figure is if there were BOTM figures of the Triceratops. Like for example the um the sub adult Triceratops which I have reviewed on this channel and the adult Triceratops which has yet to be officially in stock yet. And I, besides, I won't be reviewing that on this channel. I will be reviewing it on my second channel called Dinosaur Game World 2. So, um, yes. But anyways, next up we get the Roller Strikers Ick the Ovenator. Now, I don't know exactly what this one does either. It probably kind of looks like to me that it would have the same features of a Soundstrike figure like the Soundstrike Grim, except it's just been recoded and re redone. Like I said, I don't know exactly what this thing would what this thing does. But it looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. And so, um, yeah, that's, I, I don't know much about this figure. And next up, we got one of the worst reviews on here. And I don't know what in the world this is supposed to be. But if they actually tried to make an Ampelosaurus figure, I believe it's supposed to be an Ampelosaurus because of all these, because of all the spines on the back of it. They did not do a good job at all. I don't this is in no way accurate to the real thing yes this is made from Mattel and it's for the Jurassic World line so you shouldn't expect the most accurate dinosaurs on the planet from them but you could have done a lot better Mattel with this because honestly this is just disgusting it looks more like a monster and next up we got the Sinoceratops which this one's pretty lackluster in the paint department. It's just got a base coat of green with just some, with just yellow on it. And for a strange design option, yellow on the tail. But at least they actually had the audacity to paint the horns and the beak. 
So, that is a bit of a plus for Mattel. But, I don't know. I don't think it's for me. I don't think I would be too invested in this product at all. And so, um, yeah. Next up, we got another Roar Strikers figure. Again, I don't really know as to what this one is supposed to be. It's not as horrendous as the first one, but it, it does, it's not really that horrendous to me. It's not horrendously boxy like the last one. Because, honestly, the last one looked like it was built from a Lego set. And then the Legos got smoothed out, and then that was the end product. So I have no idea what they had done for that sword pod. But this one looks pretty decent. And next up, we have the Iguanodon. Again, I don't really know what this one should do, because, well, I mean, all these images are from one image with a bunch of toy leaks bundled up together. So, yeah. So, basically, all these figures, as to what their capabilities are, is quite inconclusive currently. So, um, yeah. Next up, we got another Triceratops. And this one's not as nice looking as the last one, but again, I'm not really a big Triceratops guy. I just prefer to get the, the best Triceratops out there. Because the last time I had gotten a Triceratops was from Mattel all the way back in 2018. Actually, no, it was actually 2019 with the dual attack Triceratops. But since then, I haven't gotten any, uh, any further Triceratops. Now, I don't have the dual attack Triceratops anymore, so, yeah. That is a little bit. So, um, next up we got the Mega Raptor. And this one looks pretty strange. First of all, there's a lot going on with its face. I can't even see its eye. Again, this is not the best quality image. And it's just... It just looks weird. And it has... And it just has an unnecessary base color of red for half of the figure. And then it, and, and in the end of the tail, it's just black. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, Mattel. Well, I do think this is strange. I don't I don't necessarily hate it. Now, I'm not sure if the Mega Raptor is actually a Dromaea Sword or belongs to the Velociraptor family. But I don't think it would. Next up, we got another Rogasaurus, or I believe it's supposed to be another Rogasaurus because it looks pretty similar to the to the last, it looks pretty similar to the Roger Source that we've looked at, just with a lot better, just with a better color scheme that actually does make sense. Not to say that this one's better, because honestly, it is kind of okay ish. Again, I don't necessarily know what the Roar Stackers are supposed to do. But one hypothesis I have for this figure is that it would have the same tail functions as the Massive Biters and the Sound Strikes. Like where it can chomp like the Massive Biters and can still move its head. But can move its head left and right, up and down. And maybe spin like the, like the, like the Sound Strikes. And next up we got the Lyle Pluridon. This one was my favorite reveal on here well that is until i had seen the next reveals which as i'm recording this video has been just revealed like um like probably 15 minutes ago as i'm recording this video so by the time i upload it it's probably gonna be like at least 20 minutes ago since they were released or since they were unveiled i'm not really a math man 
I'm not really a person who does math well when it comes to time. But anyways, this one looks pretty decent. And next up, we have one that actually did get revealed via a via an inbox image. And this one's the Roar Striker Ankylosaurus. Now, even though it did have a box reveal, it's still I I still don't understand how the action feature works because well. I didn't see anything on its back for it to function, for the feature to function. I honestly just have to wait until these toys are released, so that way I can have a better sense as to how they exactly work. Because you can't just look at an image and say, oh yeah, it works like that. Although you can most of the time, but honestly, you have to wait until you get the real product. And next up, we got the Thrash and Devour T-Rex. Or at least, I believe this is supposed to be the Thrash and Devour T-Rex. And it does say on the top corner, it should, it would probably be released by the spring. By spring 2022. Which, honestly, I didn't really notice that little dude at until just now. So, um, yeah, I, it's, <laughs> I don't even know. I think I might just get it because, well, I might get it, to be honest. I'm not exactly sure if I'll get it. And next up, we got the... Next up, we got what I believe is supposed to be the Sound Strikers Therizinosaurus. Or Sound and Strike Therizinosaurus. I know it has something to do with Sound and Strike. I just can't think of the name. Now, this one is by far the lowest quality image that we have of this animal. So, um, I think it's okay. Maybe. I'm not sure if I'll exactly, like, be, like, I need this. But again, we'll just have to wait until there's an actual official reveal. And by official, I mean, like, a much higher quality image and of one in its box. So, um, overall, I don't really have anything to say about this thing. All I have to say is that it has a low-quality image, and it's not really that good, to be exact. So, um, yeah. And next up, we have the latest reveals, the Jurassic World Dominion Brachiosaurus, which is actually a repaint of the last one. Let's hope that this one actually has a unique scan code this time. It probably would have one. And this one actually has a metallic blue on it. I don't know if there are any metallic brachiosaurs in the film Dominion. Because, again, I have not seen the Dominion trailer at all. So I'm not sure how the brachiosaurs even function in the movie. But overall, I, pretty, I really like it. And I kind of hope to get... I kind of hope to get this one because I actually don't have the original one. And I do want a Brachiosaurus in my collection. And this is probably the best option. And next up we got the Extreme Damage Velociraptor. Now the rest of these reveals will be of the Extreme Damage line. And what I was mentioning earlier about the scan code thing... The fact that it actually comes out of their bodies, it just kind of scares me because, well, there's a much higher risk of people stealing the the scan code, so that way there could be one without the scan code. So hopefully people aren't that stupid and steal the scan code thing. But anyways, overall, I really like this figure. Although I could have... And it's a lot more unique than the last Velociraptor because it actually has a button on its back where you can press it like the Extreme Damage T-Rex. And next up we got the Colorus or the Sol or the Solaris. I'm not sure how to pronounce its name. But overall, I might just get I might get this thing. It's a it's a big 50-50 or actually a 60-40. 60%, I would probably get it. 40%, mm, I mean, but I'll probably get it just to fill up my collection of extreme damage slash battle damage dinosaurs. 
So, um, yeah, I don't know. And next up, we got the Extreme Damage T-Rex. Now, this one is pretty different from the last T-Rexes. Now, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be the, the new T-Rex. I think there might be a new T-Rex in the movie. Again, I have not seen the trailer, and I do not want to see the trailer. But overall, this one looks fairly decent, in my opinion. Not the best thing on the planet, but definitely, um, you know, optionable. And now for my favorite reveal, we got this. And in case you're, in case you don't get it by now, this is the Extreme Damage slash Rorn Allosaurus, which means yes, not only does this thing have battle damage, probably double battle damage, but it also has a longer tail, actual spikes on the tail, and it even has a roaring feature. Now, while I do sound sarcastic saying this stuff, I actually really love this figure, and I had just seen it, like, minutes ago. Now, now bear in mind, I do kind of wish that it didn't have the roaring feature, so that way we didn't have a roaring Allosaurus again for once, and we could actually have had head articulation, like probably the Albertosaurus did. Yeah, the Albertosaurus had a head articulation, but other than that, it's a pretty cool figure. Hopefully it has the same leg sculpt as the um, last figures of the Allosaurus. And that this one can actually stand. And personally, I think this is a lot better than the Roar Attack Allosaurus. And I was looking for it. Like, I was trying to sculpt it out, find it. And, like, doing an intense search. So I'll intensively search for this one. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. And hopefully I can find this out source and goodbye.